Hi, Ethan. Thank you very much for doing this. It's a pleasure. Okay, thank you. And, you know, back in the day, Leonard Nimoy took a while to find his character, to find Spock. I was wondering how was that with you? Was there a moment during Discovery, perhaps, that you felt, well, this is it, I have this guy. How was that process? <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't say that there was a moment that I felt like I had this guy. I think there was a moment where I thought, I don't think I'm going to get fired at this point. Um, but in terms of Discovery, uh, not the show, I mean my discovery of the character, um, that's ongoing. And I think that that will be sort of an eternal process because I, as Ethan Peck, playing the role of Spock, am, am seeking Leonard Nimoy's Spock from the original series. And I will do that through a very long gauntlet of experiences and uh, for me, the actor of episodes. And with each script I get, I'm presented with new challenges that frighten me, that make me doubt myself and that leave a lot to be discovered on, on each day that I work. So that's sort of ongoing. And I think I, f I, f I feel security and can identify now with, um, I would say like the, the proportion of, of unknown. I, I have a certain amount of experience now and of knowledge of the character. And then there's a lot of space that I keep in myself and allow for the unknown and, and just to kind of be prepared for the unexpected, to be in a state of, um, of awareness and, and presence. Uh, that's probably been the most difficult thing to find for me. Hi, Ethan. So I wanted, you, I wanted to, to ask you uh, about Spock and his emotions, because of course, emotions are not, are not his thing, but we've seen the character developing some love interests uh, since the original series. So how did you approach this side of Spock on Strange New Worlds. Approaching the romantic side of Spock was something that I was really, uh, that I did very cautiously and, and with a lot of terror, I guess, because really we really wanted to do it properly. And um, that was a huge collaborative effort between myself and Gia Sandu, who plays the Prang and um, the forces behind the camera, the directors, the producers. There was a lot of dialogue between us and, um, and uh, yeah, just a lot of sort of careful maneuvering uh, around what Vulcan romance would be like. What are, what are they like uh, in the bed? Uh, these are things that we tried to answer and hopefully we've, um, we've provided uh, some solutions for, I guess. Ethan, uh, of course, we talk a, a lot about Leonard Nimoy and his portrayal and what you're trying to honor. A, a character such as Spock with an enormous integrity and honesty, but you also have another reference of an actor that used to do a lot of integrity and honesty, which is your granddad, Gregory Peck. I was yeah. wondering if you feel like you're honoring his legacy as well with this character. Yeah, that's a really great comparison uh, and, and a, an obvious one. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't think about it too often. I'm most reminded of my grandfather and my father, whom I know uh, quite well relative to my grandfather. My grandfather passed away when I was um, in my late teens. And so I, I wasn't able to know him as, um, as the man that I am now. Um, but my father, I think, embodies a lot of the qualities that my, gran my grandfather did. And so my relationship with him is mostly through my father. And I feel that I do my my father and, and my mother, you know, great honor. And I think they're people of, uh, of wonderful integrity and, and are humanist and uh, raised me to believe um, that diversity is, is a strength and curiosity and um, awareness are, are really powerful things in the experience of life.